In this video, I'll be talking about shift and affine cipher. These are the cipher techniques which are used in classical cryptography. And these are the techniques which are used for the substitution cipher because we are going to substitute uh, the text or the alphabet instead of some another alphabet. Let's look at what is first shift cipher. So in shift cipher, Elias want to communicate something to Bob and allies have the plain text and the bob must receive the cipher text that means it should not receive the same text so that it is not uh, hacked by or uh, this information is taken by somebody else so in this case we may say that oscar want to hack this data so in the shift cipher what mathematically we can use mathematically if you have a plain text and let me to denote the plain text as by x so this x is shifted to some uh, k units and with respect to modulo 26 so this modulo 26 because i have 26 alphabet so we use the standard terminology and since so this is the um, classical cryptography so at this moment this is in connection with the 26 alphabets that we do have so on this side i have written how this alphabets are numerically equivalent to the digits so we can see that a is written as 0 b is written as 1 c is written as 2 3 and so on and finally z is written as 25 so these are called numerical digit corresponding to these alphabets so now when i say that if you have a plain text which is represented by x you can have x plus k with respect to modulo 26 so obviously for k we have 26 possibilities because let's say if you have a text a then a can be either replaced by a or it can be replaced by z so there are since there are 26 alphabets so we will see that key has 26 possibility in this case now you may think that if a is replaced by a then the plain text will remain in the same position so obviously out of these 26 possibility there is one possibility which we call it as trivial possibility and if you wish we can exclude that so there are 25 non-trivial possibilities let us take an example for this now in this example i want to encipher the message have a nice day and for this i am using the key k is equal to 3 or we may also say that using the caesar cipher caesar cipher is the oldest classical cryptography technique so here the key length is fixed and in this case whenever i am shifting my text with the length 3 that means i am applying caesar cipher but in general we have seen that we can shift the cipher uh, with respect to any key and k can be any uh, with plus 1 up till 26 possibility so in case you are applying k is equal to 3 this is the caesar cipher now let's say what we will have this in the solution part so in the solution first thing is that how do we write this uh, how do we read this text into the mathematically so the first step is to write this number in the uh, digit form so this is the first word have a nice day so say we have here have a nice day these are the letters corresponding to this write the numerical digits so for example here you can see h is corresponding to 7 a is corresponding to 0 and so on so let us write h is equal to 7 a correspond to 0 v correspond to 21 which is available here e that is correspond to 4 a will correspond to 0 and then we continue n corresponds to 13 we can see from here so from this table keep on writing this data c correspond to 0 2 e correspond to 0 4 d correspond to 0 3 a 0 0 and y correspond to 24 now because of the key is k so this is the step number two that i've written everything into my uh, digits form and this is what is we can have it as a plain text now for the cipher text i must need to write x to x plus 3 because in this case key is 3 so add plus 3 in all these numbers and what we get is we should write here at step number 3 so when i add this one i will get this digit as 3 0 plus 3 that is 3 then we write 24 0 7 and we get these numbers now these are what we got it as cipher digit text so we have added 3 and we got in fact in some of the cases where you can have 21 plus 3 you can see here also i have added plus 3 everywhere i have added plus 3 even in the last case i have added plus 3 so note that in case i add 24 plus 3 i get 27 but 27 this is congruent to 1 mod 26 so we must need to apply the congruences property or you can say 
when i divide the number 27 by 26 what is the remainder so the remainder is 1 and that is what we write here so once you get write the least uh, residue or the least remainder here this we get it as cipher digit text and now in this step number four i am simply going to write the corresponding alphabet so we can see again from the table like 10 corresponds to k so here for the 10 i am going to write k 3 correspond to the letter d and similarly we can fill on the other all letters we see that 16 correspond to q this is l this correspond to f h g d and this is b yeah so this one is g this is g so this is considered as a cipher text so we have this cipher text as this which cannot be read easily and this is one of the classical technique now here we can see that we have applied key as 3 but the key can take any value between 0 to 25 so there are 26 possibilities and so we can extend now let's see this one more time so mathematically we are using cipher text which is corresponding to plane plus 3 so this modulus 26 this was in case of the caesar cipher and corresponding to equivalent in case of the shift cipher in general we may consider this p plus k times mod 26 and for the deciphering process you can write p this is congruent to c minus 3 so somebody knows the deciphering you just have to subtract minus 3 so suppose bob want to read something this is the message that bob has received and when you take write the corresponding k is equal to 10 and then you take minus 7 you will get back to the 7 so if you follow the similar process backstage this is called the deciphering process and in this case again you will have plain text which is c minus k times modulo 26 let us take one more example so in this example i want to convert the plain text sparky into the cipher text using the shift cipher and the key is 7 so again let's write quickly the plain text alphabet so we have s p a r k y and i write correspondingly numerical digits so again from the last table i just have to see s is corresponding to 18 so here i am using the standard one a correspond to 0 b will correspond to 1 and z will correspond to 25 so from this uh, list i'll come to know what is p p is 15 a is 0 this is 17 10 and 24 and then we said that key is 7 so we need to find the cipher digits and for finding the cipher digit what i will do i will add plus 7 in all the digits so once i add plus 7 in all the digits what i get is considered as cipher digits so when i add this we will get this as 25 22 7 24 17 and 5 and then again from this we are going to look at again in the table and we will see that what correspond to 25 that is z what will correspond to 22 that is w what is corresponding to 7 that is h 17 plus 7 as we know that this is 24 and 24 will correspond to y 10 plus 7 that is 17 so this will correspond to r and the last one that is 24 plus 7 which is 31 but we know that 31 is congruent to 5 mod 26 or you can simply again divide 31 by 26 and find what is the remainder so once you find the remainder you know that we get 5 and 5 is corresponding to the letter f so this is what we can say that this is the cipher text that is received and the cipher text is z w h y r f corresponding to the letter sparky now in this third example we have been given a cipher text and which was created using shift cipher so this information is available that this is a cipher text and for this we have used the shift cipher so that means we have used c is congruent to p plus k so we have an access to c but we don't have an access to key uh, in this case so if we know what is key then from the previous example we have seen it is easy to decipher we simply need to um, add or subtract so if you're adding up if you're having a plain text you can add with the k length and then you can get cipher text and for this deciphering purpose you can simply take c minus k mod 26 once you convert the cipher text into the numerical digits but in this case key is not given so here we will be using the frequency table so frequency table is the um, fixed table where which gives us the uh, information that 
in an english alphabet or in an english words which letter appear the most so e is the letter which appear the most in the text and similarly there is an frequency corresponding to all the other letters so now let's see what is the letter and its frequency and in this we can see the frequency of the letters in english and you can see that e is the maximum frequency occurred then we got a and then we have t and so on so we are just going to compare our frequency of the cipher text with the standard frequency so this is the letter which is appearing here in the cipher text and we have written the frequency in which they are appearing so for example a is appearing six time in this above cipher text and b is appearing four times c is appearing two times and so on so we see that in this text l is appearing the most okay so l has the maximum frequency nine and i've just explained the frequency table shows that e is the letter which is maximally appearing in the uh, word. So our possible guess is that L is the letter which is replaced by E. So this could be the shift. And in this case, L correspond to 11. This is the normal uh, digit equivalent. When I take A is 00, zero sorry, B as 0, 01 and Z as 25. So in the standard alphabet, L comes at 11. And we know that E comes at 4 and plus K mod 26 so this might be the possible congress that we must have used for this shift cipher and from here we can get that the value for k this is 7 once we know that k is equal to 7 so we know what is c cipher text which is corresponding to p plus 7 mod 26 we know the cipher text to get the plain text what we'll do we'll simply take c minus 7 mod 26 so now we already have the cipher text information with us we we have the cipher text we will write the corresponding digits uh, corresponding to c for each of the alphabet and we will identify the plain text so if we follow the similar process as we did in the earlier cases we will get this is the plain text and while converting this from the cipher text like in the first block we can see there are five letters so it might have written as l e t u s so we need to regroup them before we actually read the plain text in an appropriate manner so once we regroup simply by writing a meaningful text or by re readable text, we'll get that this is the plain text. So the idea is that in case we are not aware about the key length, we must use the frequency analysis table of the English to identify which letter appear the most and then start making the possible guess. Since there are only 26 possible keys, so there is a finite uh, combination will allow us to get back from cyber text to plain text.